Today, Cleveland City leaders talked about improving community safety, creating a new gang unit with dozens of new officers. Statistics show guns play the biggest part in these crimes, sir. They are hoping to curb violent crimes in the city. News Channel 5 Shay Harris talked to a former gang member. How does he say guns get into the city? Well, Lee, according to this former gang member, guns and, and people right now uh, just don't mix. He says people living in lower income neighborhoods don't have the resources to bring guns into the community. He says they're actually being supplied by career criminals. This young man has spent most of his life in a gang dealing with guns. We're not saying his name or showing his face to protect his identity. He's been shot and he's committed crimes. In that life that I was living, I thought everything in that life was right. His changed life came when his favorite aunt died while he was in a prison cell. I just got on my knees and I cried. And from that day on, I just was looking up above and I felt that I felt him. And it was like, could nobody come between me? Now he talks about what he believes is the root cause of violence in urban communities, guns and gangs, and how high powered guns get in. Basically it come through the trains and there'd be the loads of guns and just be not know anybody just can go on the train to get a gun. You got to be an inside job. So basically what I'm saying is it's very organized. It's be a one distributor. He have a truck van, probably a, a rental van and he pull it out and display whatever all he got. Be machine guns, be 40s, beams on it. A lot of Smith & Western high tech nice guns. He says the guns are written off as insurance losses. Then once the guns get on the streets, it's mayhem. What happens after he distributes the guns or after a train is hit? Oh, it's, 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 it's showtime. Showtime. Now we about to go shoot at these dudes. We ain't had no guns. We about to go over there and wet these dudes up. It become war. He says next comes death or prison or maybe something worse. When you get a felony and don't have no diploma, you like a nobody. It's like you're bottom of a shoe. Just cement. This young man says he believes that in order to get the guns off the streets, law enforcement will have to go after those who supply them. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.